my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited to be out here today. This is my first climb up Pinnacle since before all the snow a couple of weeks ago. And I didn't know if I was gonna make it. I waited till after church today to come out and it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here and the sky is blue and the sun's shining and the parking lot is full. And I didn't think I was gonna find a spot, but on my way out, lo and behold, a spot opened up and I got lucky. So I know I'm supposed to be here. I'm glad you're here with me today. Let's go climb Pinnacle. <laughs> I can do this you know it's amazing you come out here for years like I've done on a regular basis but you go for a few weeks and miss it come back out I mean it's almost like you've never done it before but maybe it won't be quite that bad I've been staying pretty busy pretty active lots of people out here today so I'm gonna try to record some video have some fun it's just uh, oh man it just feels great to be out here Wish you were with me. All right, let's keep climbing. Seriously, this is kicking my butt. <laughs> That's embarrassing to admit. All right, let's keep going. And you know what? I don't remember crying. I don't remember crying. Yeah, I don't mean to say that either. I think We're not going that way. We're going this way. Made it to the top i didn't record any video up there because um a lot of folks at the top of the mountain today glad i came it was a little bit harder than i anticipated but uh going down should be a little bit easier one thing i wanted to talk about kind of on my mind today as i was coming out here was you know kind of looking at and sharing what it is i'm doing to stay healthy you know during this pandemic you know what is my strategy and one of the things i'm doing to stay healthy and and uh, keep my level of resistance high in order to ward off uh, this virus uh, well one of the things i'm doing is i'm coming to pinnacle mountain you know it's been a few weeks since i've been out here but uh, i'm out here today and i have staying active even if i don't get out here i do do exercises and stretch and do do yoga at the house and try to stay in shape so you know that's a big part of staying healthy a big part of keeping a high level of resistance is um, staying active and getting regular exercise um, you know one of the things I'm doing as well <clears throat> is I'm continuing to do my intermittent fasting uh, I'm probably fasting at least five days a week at this point uh, sometimes more I may go for a week or so and, and it may go for seven or eight days with a fasting in a row uh, I'm doing mainly a lot of sometimes a 14 hour fast a lot of 16 hour fast but on my days off on the weekends it's not unusual for me to do an 18 to 20 hour fast uh, when, I, when I'm not working so you know and that's really helping a lot uh, I just I highly recommend if you haven't tried the intermittent fasting you know that you give it a try uh, it's not for everybody you know and so if you need some help if you need some guidance you know you probably need to come to the office or call me and you know I can I can help you with that so the intermittent fasting is good um, 
you know, and I'm still eating, you know, low carb, you know, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm uh, probably not as low as I have some in the past, but uh, it is lower carb. And I, and I, and I want to say this too, one thing I'm doing, um, is that, you know, I'm actually eating a little bread now, but you know, I've started doing some baking here a few months ago and I've really gotten into it. So, you know, I will make a recipe, like make a couple of loaves of organic whole wheat bread and I'll put it in the freezer. And you know, it might take me over a month to eat those loaves because I just eat a little bit at a time. And uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm eating more bread, but I've cut back on uh, some of the other carbs. And fact is I've lost weight over the last year. I'm uh, doing a really good job of maintaining my weight um, below 160, which is, you know, which is great for me. So, all right, that's all for now. Let me keep going. Continuing on with you know what I'm doing to stay healthy during the pandemic. You know I'm continuing my exercise activities, trying to get out here to Pinnacle. I'm doing my intermittent fasting. I'm still eating low carb. I'm continuing my chiropractic care. You know I got an adjustment this week. I get over and see my chiropractor uh, at least twice a month uh, and get adjustments. Uh, I'm also seeing my massage therapist uh, at least once a month. I've got a great massage therapist in Stuttgart. I would recommend that for you. Make sure you're getting your adjustments. Make sure you're getting your uh, massages, doing your body work in order to stay, take care of yourself. Uh, I'm still, you know, of course, taking my supplements. I'm on a nutrition program. You know, I'm on a nutrition response testing program, taking supplements for my body. And um, other things I do is I just watch my attitude. You know, I, I take time every morning for a little daily routine. Um, I have a morning ritual, I guess you could call it, that involves some quiet time, uh, time for a little meditation and contemplation and some reading. And, you know, I really try to connect with my spiritual source in the morning because I think that's important to staying healthy and staying sane. My recommendation to everyone is, you know, do the basics, you know, get your exercise. Uh, someone was slapping at me because they could see me talking on the video. Oh, well, you know, make sure you're eating right, getting your exercise, getting your sunshine, taking your supplements, getting your chiropractic adjustments, you know, doing your body work, getting your massages, do all of those things that you have to do to stay healthy. Do your prayers, do your meditation, you know, think positive thoughts, and I believe if you do all of those things, then that's gonna really enhance your chances of staying strong and healthy through whatever this life may throw at you.